Hey, what's going on? My name is Rob Jr. and this is my channel, Creative Rob. So this is a new pinning I want to share with you guys. And uh, if you follow along, you'll get a better view of the painting and um, of the process uh, I use to create a work like this. Uh, to start off, uh, what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the water to uh, and just basically drawing with the tube itself. Just squeezing the paint up onto the canvas. Sorry, I'm talking weird. It's been a little while since I've done a recording. So uh, I've been doing a lot of shorts. So I haven't had to do any voiceovers here lately, but uh, here we are and uh, let's have some fun. Yeah, so I'm in the backyard. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be using the water hose, so you know you don't really want to do that in the studio. Let's got a huge sink, but this this canvas is about three feet by four feet, so yeah, it's too big to to fit in the sink. <laughs> I, ideally, you would want to be doing this in the rain, and. This is just improv here. I, I don't know if you saw, but I grabbed the box and actually used that to scrape the paint around. Um, uh, no, no palette knives available outside the studio and I forgot to, to bring it with me. And I mean, I'm even using my hands and I'm trying to create uh, shapes and patterns and, 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 and that thing um, sporadically, you know, um, and, and trying to lay it out on the canvas in such a way that when the water activates the, the paint, um, I'll get uh, the desired effects. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, um, that would be awesome. Give the, the video a like, helps out the channel. And all right, here we are. Here, I'm using the hose and I'm, I'm spraying the paint, trying to activate the watercolor. Um, and now, almost like paint pouring, I'm moving the water around over, over the uh, watercolor and um, moving the paint around and we'll get a better better view of this so uh, one thing I noticed about this technique and and just using the the tube to paint with the the watercolor comes out pretty thickly so it takes um, a lot of uh, pressure to activate that paint and get it dripping. Um, so here I'm going in with my hand and just moving the paint around, trying to create textures. I'm, I'm being sure to get the sides of the painting or the canvas. I don't want to overwork it nor underwork it. Now here, I actually did grab a palette knife and I'm trying to make some random scrapes and scratches. That, this is the fun part. <laughs> and now here's a, a closer look. I set it out on the table, let it dry. Really, really cool looking. You know, when you when you do something like that, you almost don't want to to paint over it. So this is going to be a background. So um, next step is to add some spray paint. I lost my uh, camera person, so um, I well, I was hoping to show you guys some spray paint, but. Uh, it looks like that video went missing. <laughs> All right, so that's what it looks like after I spray painted it. I was a little disappointed that I, I um, overdid it a little bit with the spray paint. You can still see a lot of the watercolor 
um, in there, but I wanted to, sh to, to show a lot more. All right, so once that was dry, I hit it with uh, a workable fix it. If, um, and I started to oil paint on top of this. Now, a lot of this was filmed on my TikTok channel and it was done live. So if you're interested, look me up on TikTok. I do a lot of live um, painting. I have a little, I, I've had a little bit better luck on TikTok I, um, as far as growing as an artist and growing an audience. Um, so I, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy making the shorts uh, or short videos because a lot of time goes in um, making the, these longer videos and uh, you know, some of the results can be a little frustrating, but it is what it is, and uh, here we are. And I hate that sand. I, I gotta get rid of that. Getting rid of that sand, man. It reminds me of uh, a place I used to work at. I'm not gonna mention any names, but <laughs> I hated it there. <laughs> All right, back back onto the positive. Um, being a full time artist is wonderful. Um, being your own boss is great. Uh, that being said, I do have some artwork available in my Etsy shop. Um, I'll put a link in the description. I'll put a link to my TikTok and Instagram. All that all that good stuff. So one of the fun things about um, creating these watercolor or starting off with watercolor and using um, rain or the hose, water hose um, to activate the watercolor, um, you don't know it, it, it exactly what's going to happen. So there's a spontaneous uh, element that I really enjoy um, painting like this. Uh, anyway, so like I said, this is filmed live, and I just kind of sped it up, but it, if you didn't see, if you probably saw this little glimpse, it was my son and my dog. He was holding my puppy, showing the camera to the live TikTok audience. Try and uh, pause that on that picture. <laughs> It's a challenge. All right, so I'm using a um, a stick there. I actually got it from Home Depot. Um, it's called a, a mall stick. I think it's M A U L mall stick, and it's to help keep your hand steady over the painting without touching the painting. Very handy when you're when the painting's wet. If you look at my desk there, there's a cup holding brushes. It was made in Sculpey and it was modeled after my dog. My daughter made it for me. It looks awesome, I love it. Thanks Lily. Shout out to my daughter. I was hoping to give a little bit. Oh yeah, at the end you'll get a better view of this. Um, yeah, that, that was just for the live audience. If 
And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed it. Um, have a wonderful week. If you haven't yet, hit that sub- subscription and the like. It helps me out. All right. Have a wonderful week. Peace out.